1798, Benjamin Thompson, Count Rumford, observed that continuous friction during cannon drilling generated seemingly endless heat, challenging the idea of heat as a physical substance and laying the groundwork for thermodynamics. This field became central to the Industrial Revolution by explaining how heat converts into useful work, like powering steam engines. Thermodynamics rests on core laws, energy is conserved in a closed system, and entropy, a measure of disorder, never decreases over time. However, these classical principles face significant challenges when applied to the microscopic scale of quantum systems, where the clear distinction between useful work and disordered heat breaks down. A research team at the University of Basel, led by Professor Patrick Potts, has addressed this quantum challenge by developing a new theoretical approach to define thermodynamic quantities for certain quantum systems. Their work, published in Physical Review Letters, tackles the fundamental issue that in quantum systems, everything is microscopic, making it difficult to separate macroscopic work from microscopic heat. As doctoral student Aaron Daniel explains, the familiar thermodynamic descriptions become blurred at the quantum level. To investigate, the team studied cavity resonators, systems where laser light is trapped between two mirrors, bouncing back and forth. Laser light is coherent, meaning its electromagnetic waves are perfectly synchronized, unlike light from bulbs or LEDs. When this coherent laser light passes through a cavity filled with atoms, its coherence can be disrupted, causing the light to become partially or fully incoherent. This incoherence corresponds to the disordered motion of particles associated with heat. Bachelor's student Max Schrauen notes that the coherence of light in such a laser cavity system was the starting point for their calculations. The researchers then refined the definition of work in this quantum context. A key example is charging a quantum battery, which requires coherent light to collectively push atoms into an excited state. A simplistic view might assume that incoming coherent light performs work, while outgoing, less coherent light represents waste heat. However the team found the reality is more nuanced. Even partially incoherent light can still perform useful work, albeit less efficiently than fully coherent light. Daniel and colleagues proposed a model where only the coherent portion of the exiting light is counted as work, while the incoherent portion is treated as heat. Under this refined definition, both laws of thermodynamics, energy conservation and non-decreasing entropy remain valid for the quantum system, demonstrating a self-consistent framework. This approach successfully bridges classical thermodynamic concepts with quantum mechanical behavior. The implications of this research are significant for the growing field of quantum technology. Daniel suggests that their formalism can be used to tackle more subtle problems in quantum thermodynamics. This theoretical framework could prove valuable for designing and optimizing emerging technologies, such as quantum networks and quantum batteries by providing clearer principles for energy transfer and work extraction at the quantum scale. Furthermore, it may offer deeper insights into how the familiar, orderly behavior of classical physics emerges from the underlying, often disorderly, quantum world. This work represents a meaningful step toward reconciling two foundational pillars of physics, thermodynamics and quantum mechanics.